no se rían, esto puede ser, esto puede ser gracioso. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, your host with the most the collective detective because my methods are effective and I'm making a correction the direction of my erection. I am nicer than a splicer, but I'm still part of the dirty, dirty horde. And today we are going to see Star Wars The Force Awakens. I'm here with two good friends and we are about to embark on a fantastic journey of science fiction and explosions and, and Michael Bay and all that stuff. So we'll catch you after the you how it's like. See you guys later. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I did the intro yesterday, I forgot. Um, this was supposed to be a continuation of the uh, video of watching Star Wars The Force Awakens. There was, there's going to be no spoilers here, just praise. I'm not going to spoil anything to those who have not yet had the pleasure of watching it. So, you know, go see it, okay? First things first, go see it. Do yourself a favor and go see it. The movie is fantastic. It has everything you wish you could see in a Star Wars film. Um... You know, you, uh, you had hoped that these were the kind of films that George Lucas would have made, but he didn't make it. These are back to that witty, um, campy humor of the originals. And great special effects, great practical effects, and great music. I loved the music. It was just potent, and it brought me to places that I hadn't been to in so long. And... Go do yourself a favor and go watch it. You don't have to be a Star Wars fan to enjoy films like this. It just makes you a Star Wars fan. And to me, who have been a Star Wars fan all my life, I am so grateful that I was there. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I needed that. So, J.J. Abrams... You got my thumbs up, and I give your movie a 9.5 out of 10, because it was awesome. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the best gift of this late season. And I'll see you in a year and a half, whenever the next movie comes out. This is Rick Hoffex 1, signing off.